In this video, we're going to be examining the impact that climate change is having on mega droughts. For those of you who are not familiar with the term mega drought, a mega drought is a drought that is not only very intense in its dryness, but it's also one which lasts for a significant length of time, typically 20 years or, or more. Most of you probably are familiar with the Dust Bowl in the United States during the 1930s. That was a very intense drought, but it was not considered a mega drought because it only lasted for about 10 years. If you have any questions about the presentation, I'd appreciate it if you'd put them in the comments section. I'll do my best to answer them. In addition, if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, I'd appreciate it very much if you would subscribe so that you can keep up with the latest in climate change news. Mega droughts happen in many parts of the world. One area where they have occurred frequently in the last millennium has been in the southwestern part of the North American continent. A mega drought in this region uh, developed over the last 20, 21 going on 22 years. And uh, Williams et al. have published a paper in Nature Climate Change describing the rapid intensification of this particular mega drought. Uh, the area under consideration is shown by the yellow box in both figure A and figure B uh, taken from their paper. The upper figure uh, looks at the precipitation anomaly over the last 21, 22 years in this area. And if you look at it, it's not extreme. It's the precipitation has certainly been below normal, uh, but it hasn't been really, really, really dry, uh, really, really short of rainfall, I should say, during that period of time. What is surprising is the extent to which temperature has risen in the same area area over the same period of time. Uh, the temperature anomaly compared to the previous 50 years record in the area is, is about a full degree over much of the area. And that's really surprising since on a global scale, since uh, the current era of climate change began about 150 years ago, global temperatures have only risen on on the average around the globe, a whole uh, degree centigrade. So in this area, temperatures are rising much more rapidly than in many other parts of the world. And that's one of the things that we have to consider when we talk about uh, mega drought. In this picture from William's paper, uh, we show the development of the driest 22 year periods since 800 AD. Uh, as you can see, there have been a, a number of mega droughts during this period, at least, at least 10, including the mega drought that we're in right now. And of course, when they examine mega droughts in past centuries, they don't have rainfall data to go by. So what they use is soil mo moisture. The scientists look at the soil moisture in the top two meters of the soil. And they can do that by looking at tree rings. There, there are several species of trees that live a very long time. And by looking at the tree rings from these long-lived trees, they can get a pretty good idea of what the soil moisture has been in the top uh, two meters of soil. And that is how they classify um, drought in, in terms of in terms of the moisture in the in the soil. So if you look on the left hand side of this picture, you see that they are looking at the cumulative soil moisture anomaly and it's in standard deviations from the average. They can figure out the average soil moisture content in a given area uh, from tree rings as well. And we are looking at extreme deviations from the average. Five standard deviations, you know, this is, this is huge. 
and some of these droughts have as many as 15 standard deviation soil mo moisture anomalies. The, the current uh, mega drought that we're experiencing uh, in North America is shown in both blue and red in the, in the picture here. And the difference between the two is taking into account climate change or not. The red line takes into account the effects of climate change on soil moisture. And the blue line looks at what the uh, soil moisture would have been without climate change using computer modeling of, uh, of the events to do that. And as we can see, as we go from 22 years ago to last year, that's year zero in this paper, the, the amount of difference is, is, is increasing each year. Uh, until by the time we get to uh, 2021, the, the effect is about 42%. In other words, the contribution of climate change to the current mega drought has actually been huge. And if it continues, the current mega drought is on a path to be the most severe mega drought in at least 1,200 years in this particular region of, of the world. This figure shows the development of the seven prior longest mega droughts in southwest North America since 800 AD. And what's very interesting about this, if we look at the current mega drought, which is shown both with climate change and without climate change by the red and the blue lines is that without climate change the current mega drought the current drought that we're in wouldn't be considered a mega drought uh, there would not have been uh, enough dryness uh, for a long enough period of time to consider it a mega drought it, it would be maybe a 15-year drought but certainly short of, of a mega drought and when you add in climate change, that is shown in the red line. What we see is the current uh, drought event has been uh, transformed from what might be considered an ordinary drought into a mega drought. And not only a mega drought that's lasting more than 20 years, but one that's as intense or more intense than the most intense mega drought of uh, uh, previously in this millennium, the one that took place around 1571 to 1593. And uh, that's really uh, the, the conclusion that's most important for us. Mega droughts are not caused by climate change, but they're certainly made significantly worse by climate change. You might ask, what, what is it that causes the mega droughts? And climate scientists believe that uh, mega droughts are caused primarily by uh, long duration weather patterns. For example, in, in southwestern North America, uh, it's believed that La Nina uh, uh, events in the Pacific Ocean are the main driver of these mega droughts. But now we see that uh, mega droughts also uh, in, in today's world, with climate change, mega droughts can happen uh, more frequently or more intensely because of the additional dryness uh, and lack of moisture uh, that's in the soil because of the, of the very high temperatures in the regions where the mega droughts are occurring. And, and that's really the conclusion that's most important. Uh, mega droughts are not caused by climate change. But like many other uh, weather features like hurricanes and, and uh, nor'easters and other kinds of storms, they're made worse by climate change. And uh, that's, that's the most significant conclusion from this paper. I hope you found this presentation useful and I'd appreciate it greatly if you have, if you would share it with your family and friends. In addition, I'd 
Really appreciate it. Appreciate it if you haven't already done so. If you would subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can do that just by clicking on my picture and in, in the circle below. Thank you very much for watching and stay tuned for more climate change news and future videos.